Today we are doing Zelda Breath of the Wild's A Fragmented Monument Shrine Quest, aka Kaya Shrine near Luralin Village. What's up YouTube, I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun, and today I'm going to show you how to solve this shrine quest. Watch to the end to get all of the chests. This shrine quest starts in Luralin Village. During midday, you'll find a little boy running around named Zuda. If you speak with him, he will mention something cool at Palmore Ruins and that he found some old stuff with Garini. And he will lead you there, so follow him. And if he stops now and again, just go ahead and talk to him again and he'll tell you to keep following him. And just follow him all the way over here. And I also will show you right on the map. This is actually where we're going. You want to run ahead. So now he's led us right where we need to go. And you can see down there, there's obviously something going on. So let's go ahead and glide on down and talk to Garini. Hmm. Ah. Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Did you need something? What are you doing? I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aurora to it. Do you feel it? I recently realized that there is some writing engraved on the monument. So now I'm trying to figure out exactly what is written here. Can I help? Ah, so you're the curious type too. This stone monument was one much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will you? They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be here finishing my examination of this stone monument. Oh, right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. One of them should be right around here. Please find that first. And that activates the fragmented monument shrine quest. Okay, so first things first, let's go to the first monument shard as we were instructed to do, which is just to the east of the ruins right around the corner. So go ahead and snap a picture of that. Make sure the whole thing is in the picture. And let's go to the second monument shard, which is located at the southwest end of Palmeray Beach. And you can find it in the shallow water near these rocks. Rocks. Go ahead and snap that picture and let's go to the third monument shard which is located out at Cape Crestia and you can find it at the very tip of Soka Point right next to a palm tree. It's actually right behind the palm tree if you're coming up to it that way but after you snap that picture let's go back and talk to Garini again. If you are doing it at night where it's easier to see the fragments you do need to be careful of the night creatures. Just some things to keep in mind. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I sure did. All right, so he's just gonna go through and show him all three of the pictures. All right, so excellent. Thanks to you, I've got a good shot at deciphering this entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put it all together and then give him a minute to figure it out. Wow, thanks to you, I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. I haven't the foggiest clue what that's supposed to mean. All right, so now that he's deciphered the text, he doesn't know what it means but we do it means we want to walk over to the right pedestal and crouch down and stay down for a moment and when Garini sees what you're doing he'll realize he's supposed to as well so he'll go over there and he'll kneel down on the other pedestal and will cause the pedestals to turn blue and the Kaya Shrine to appear. And that is a fragmented monument shrine quest complete. But don't go too quick because we still have to do the shrine itself. This one is not a blessing shrine. So let's just go right up into the shrine and let's go inside. This puzzle is called Quick Thinking. Okay, for starters, we are gonna go ahead and go up the left ramp. And what I like to do right away is stasis the moving platform, grab a wooden barrel, giving myself enough time to get on here and get situated. And then I'm gonna let this platform carry me. But as you can see, you got some obstacles. We need to get this barrel all the way to the other end without us or the barrel falling off. So once you get to the other side, go ahead and place the barrel on the floor switch. And now we wanna come back to the front of the shrine and don't forget to grab your chest from what was the locked door because it's a dun 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 All right, now we want to come and do the other side. And the other side is a little bit trickier. All right. So go ahead and grab a wooden barrel and when your platform is there and ready for you, go ahead and hop on, set your barrel down and make sure you get a bow and arrow ready. We're gonna wanna hit this switch to open this gate and these gates are opposing gates. When one's open, the other one's closed. So hit it on the way in and then turn around and hit it on the way out. Otherwise, you're gonna run right smack into another closed gate. But then we want to get over platform and we want our barrel right on this floor switch. And it's not really necessary to stasis this platform uh, since it's much faster to just run back anyway, but that sure didn't stop me from stasising it anyway. But now we wanna come back up to the ramp and we wanna grab our chest. We go up to it and open it up it's a dun 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 Royal Claymore. All right, so let's come on down and go over towards the bunk and let's get this door unlocked. And that's it, boys and girls. Check your map. Yep, we've got all of the chests. So all you gotta do is just talk to the monk and you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in the face so you don't miss any content released. This is KK Jinx, over and out.